Did you know that how you greet customers in your retail store has a big impact on whether or not they will buy from you, whether or not they'll become return customers? It's true. Keep watching and I'm going to share with you what you should never ever say to them and also what you should say to them to make sure that they're having the best customer experience ever. Hey there, I'm Kathy Donovan Wagner, founder of Retail Mavens and mom of America's most fun family. It's true. And I love to share the science of retail and the science of consumer psychology with independent retailers like you so that you can get more profits and better sleep. Make sure you hit subscribe and click that bell to get notifications to know when I share more retail tips and strategies. Many retailers I work with either feel awkward greeting a customer when they walk in their door or they fall into a standard response because they think that's what they're supposed to do. The problem with this is that you're not setting your customer up for a great experience in your store. And I know that's what you want to do. I know you're known for your customer service. Consumer psychology tells us that a customer is more likely to buy when their dopamine is flowing. What does that mean? When they're feeling good, when they're happy, and when they're relaxed. The problem is, is that often when they walk into a store, they expect to be jumped on. They're programmed to expect a, a salesperson to walk right up into their face and try and sell them something they don't need or don't want and that they're going to be forced to push the person away so they get all defensive, right? The truth is people don't like salespeople because there are salespeople like that and they give all of us good salespeople a bad name. They do walk right up into their face and like, hey, how are you? How can I help you today? What are you buying today? What can blah, blah, blah. That whole thing sets the customer up for a bad experience. They're already on the defensive, ready to deflect people. They're tense. They're obviously much less likely to buy. Your job is to help the customer feel instantly welcomed, to feel relaxed and to feel comfortable. So how do you start? When a customer first walks in, no matter what you're doing, if you're behind the counter or unboxing something or talking to another customer, the first most important thing to do is to acknowledge the customer. Maintain eye contact, look at them, smile, say, hello, welcome, glad you're here. If you recognize them, tell them, good to see you again. It doesn't matter if you don't remember their name. It's so important to acknowledge their presence and to show them that you're genuinely appreciative that they took the time to come into your store today. Then give them a moment or two to get comfy in your store. You don't want to tackle them right away. You want to allow them to take it in and revel in this beautiful first impression that you've set up for them. Then what I recommend doing is going to nearby, not close by, but in the area where they are. Start straightening a display or a counter and start sizing something just to be closer to them and more in the presence of them. Now you're getting ready to first exchange words for them. And what I want you to know is that all you have to do is start a conversation. That's all it is. You don't have to worry about the sale. You're just here to build a relationship because your true success is going to count on having relationships with customers, not just one-off transactions. So that's the reason why when you think about this from a conversation standpoint and from relationship building and not worrying about the sale, whew, doesn't that take the pressure off? It takes the pressure off you and it takes the pressure off them. Everything comes across so much more honestly and openly and enjoyable for everybody. So start with an icebreaker of some sort. Compliment them on something they're aware something that's going to lead to a conversation. What always leads to a conversation? An open-ended question. That's what your goal is, is to get to an open-ended question of any sort. If it's on a Monday or a Tuesday, hey, did you do something, anything fun over the weekend? Or if it's a Thursday or a Friday, <laughs> I used to always say, hey, are you doing anything fun this weekend? It's just anything to try and get the conversation going, like I said, to try and develop a relationship. The questions you should never say, the totally useless questions, that will not create relationships and instead will stop them from forming is saying things like, uh, how can I help you today? Or saying, hey, if you have any questions, I'm just going to be right here. Or I don't even like, have you been in the store before? I'm not even crazy about how's the weather. You wouldn't say that to a friend if you were really starting a conversation with them. Now you might in some sort of context, like you might say, oh my gosh, what a beautiful day. It was just like this last Sunday when we went sailing. Um, what did you do last Sunday? It was so beautiful, wasn't it? You see how that starts a conversation? So you can do that. But any of those other useless questions, just scream at the person, I am a salesperson, and they will go running. So that's what you wanna do is try and get into a conversation. And then you'll sense when the conversation naturally slows down. And that's when it's time for you to discover how you can best serve their needs. You don't do this by interrogation. This is the phrase that I have found that works like magic every single time. So what brings you into the store today? 
This invites them to share their ideas with you, right? And shows them that you're available to show them products. It's all said in those words. What brings you into the store today? What's so funny though, is that because we're all so programmed to have a salesperson in our face in a store, we're so programmed to not ask for help in a store. What I've discovered people so often say is they'll say things like, oh, nothing, I'm just looking for a baby gift. Bingo. <laughs> I had a kid's store, so that's all I needed to know. But it's amazing how programmed we are to deflect salespeople. So you really have to work on building that relationship and just focusing on a conversation. That's what's so critical about this. And then as long as they're sharing with you, keep asking open-ended questions so that you can learn more and showing them relevant products in your store. Asking, what else do you need to know? So for example, you could say to that, how fun, so who had the baby? And just getting them to talking. Now, it for sure happens that the person might indicate that they just kind of want to walk around by themselves. Okay, no problem at all. Give them the space to do so and just stay out there and continue straightening or whatever because the thing is, is the second you go behind the counter, then there becomes this wall between you and the customer. As much as possible, stay on the floor, keep resizing, keep straightening, do whatever you need to do. And then what I would often do is when they pick up something, say, hey, can I just tell you something about that item? And sometimes they'd say, oh no, it's okay, I'm fine. Totally cool. Other times they say, oh yeah, sure. And then you can go into whatever it is you wanted to share about that particular item. The point is, is that if they look like they have a question about something or they're lost or looking for something, it's your job to respond accordingly. And you wanna make sure that you're there for them and that they don't have to come looking for you. The other kind of customer that comes into the store is the person who's on a mission. That's the person who's just like, Zoom, walks right in really, really super fast. And I would just flat out come from behind the counter and say, hey, looks like you're on a mission. How can I help you get out of here fast? And they would smile, like they welcome that. That's not something salespeople say, but it's something that you would say to a friend, right? To a person you had a relationship with. That is so powerful. Often they'll say, oh wow, that takes them aback. Oh yeah, I have to find a baby gift. Can you help me? I've got like 15 minutes. Yeah, sure, let's go. And then just start talking to them, asking them open questions. That's the best way of greeting a customer and setting it up for success in every way. Teach these tips to your team. Have them watch this video and then role play, play with the scenario over and over again with them so that they get used to it and more comfortable to opening the sale with someone and working to create a relationship with that new raving fan that just walked through your door. Hey, if you found this helpful, but you're thinking, Kathy, I need to get more people in my store. That's my problem. Stay tuned because I have a couple videos for you that you're going to love. And don't forget to subscribe with the bell for more tips, tools, and strategies so that I can help you improve your profits, sleep better, and become a richer retailer. Happy retailing.